I know it's a little loud, but guess what I got today? A huge blessing from my daughter-in-law, Shawnee. She used to own a wedding company. And, um, well, she still does weddings. But, yay, look at this dress. I'll have to show it all to you later. I'm going to disassemble it in the next two days and show you guys everything. It's going to be a lot of fun. Look at the appliques. Aren't those fun? Look at the ruffles. I mean, it's like Ruffle City. So cool. Okay. Okay guys, so Ronnie is showing us the dress where the bodice is and then it has this large flower and then it comes down. Look at all these ruffles. Look at all the appliques, just ruffles and appliques. Look at that, all the way to the bottom. And then even as you turn, it's just nothing but appliques and ruffles. So I am going to disassemble this dress the next two days, lower it a little bit and see it tied, how it tied in the back. It's okay. Oh. Lower it. Yeah, lower it. There you go. See it tied in the back there. And so anyways, I just wanted to show you video. It's so big, I couldn't do this myself. So thank, thank our model. Everyone, please, in the comments section. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, do you want me to put it on? I was like, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start um, taking it apart. I'm going to have Ronnie, real quick while you're standing there, honey, can you turn it inside out for me? Because we're going to start from the inside out. I mean, like, just pull turn it inside, it inside out. Turn it inside out, yeah. So, um, they rent dresses out to people here in Las Vegas. It's a huge business, just huge. And this dress actually is stained by food. It's definitely been ripped. Um, but yeah, my daughter-in-law, she donated it to me because she had a room full of dresses, but they ended up buying dresses of their own. So this is one of theirs. So, oh, look at that. Good. Isn't it amazing how the inside of the dress is completely clean? All right, so we're going to start cutting it up taking the shears to it okay and that's what we're doing yay all right okay so when you were just watching the video just note that my husband is six foot seven so that tells you this dress is well over like seven feet wouldn't you say ronnie yeah it's it's very very long so this is the inside of the dress i'm just kind of investigating seeing where i can start there's there's a lot of different fabrics on here so i'm going to just record a little because we're going to watch a little tv ronnie's relaxing tonight he's been working hard and um we will keep you guys scooped it's going to take me two days at least to disassemble this. It, this is just huge. So, all right. That's what I wanted to let you guys know. It's like, where do I start? Where do I start? Yeah. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out all these straps out. I'm going to figure some things out and then I'll come back on because I don't want this to be a long video. It may be two or three days. We'll see. Ow, I hurt my, my finger. Okay. Okay, well, it ended up not being a two-day project. I cut off the top, right, and that came off really easy. 
I was surprised. Um, I don't think I'm going to do much with this. I'm just going to try my best to get a piece of hair on there. Um, I'm going to do my best to probably get this off. Um, I'm not sure. It's really on there. <laughs> like really on there. So I don't know. That'd be my that'll be the last thing that I do is to try and take that top off. Um but so far, let's take a look. I cut off the skirt um underneath. That was easy. And Ronnie was really surprised. He was like, Wow, like it was coming apart quick. So the, the appliques, let me put this up a little bit more so you can see. Man, look at these appliques. They're pretty big. They're nice. And there is like on some of them a little space in between the flowers. So we have one, two, let's count them. Three. Four. This one was really long. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. So that's nine so far. That's a lot. That's nice. Plenty to share. I still have them still cutting, of course. So, I wanted to show you that real quick. This one slipped somewhere. Oh. <laughs> There's number 10. It's hiding from me. Okay, so we got 10 of those so far. And then the ruffles came off. Good. And I like it because some of them, like the, you could tell these ruffles are strong. Some of them have the knitting underneath them. So, I'm just going to, you know... I'm going to wash them. I'm going to put them in the net and just wash them. And so this is where we're at. I'm kind of going to show you. I'm just cutting it on my knee. It has been the easiest so far. You can tell like there's little spots everywhere. Let me show you. Let me bend this up just a little. Okay. So see, there's stains everywhere. I mean, it's really, <laughs> this dress has been through it. It said not for rent to be cleaned. I don't think anyone wanted to take on the hand task because you're only allowed to do it with a washcloth. Is what it says for cleaning instructions. So I was like, oh, wow, that's a lot of work. So what happened today is I called my aunt Joyce and um because we talk all the time and um I was like what should I do and she was like googling it and you know to see if anyone had any information and then all of a sudden my aunt Debbie popped in my head which she's also a junk journaler and I was like what should I do and she was like don't put it in the washer cut it up and then use the pieces, you know, as you go, like wash some of them and then keep some of them, you know, just like they are. And um, I was just like, oh, what a good idea. She was like coffee stain some of them, you know, wash some of them. She's like, definitely use cold water no matter what. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, that makes so much sense. So on the appliques, I can hand, you know, wash them, not hand wash them literally, but like do the cloth, right? And then the ruffles I can put in the like, you know, linen bag to go into the washer machine. And you guys, there's not, how much more of this dress is left, Ronnie? I'm really cutting it up, huh? Yeah, you're almost through. I feel like I'll be done tonight. Yeah? Yeah. So, I thought I was going to make this be a, a couple of videos. Because I did watch a video on someone disassembling. She called it deconstructing um, the dress, a wedding dress. 
and um, yeah, I'm just taking section by section, and we're watching The Chosen, of course. And yeah, so I thought I would just show you. I'm not cutting it, I mean, you could cut it neatly, but for me, it's like, I want it still to be junky, huh, Ronnie? Yeah. Have some character to it. And then I'm really careful around the apple case because I feel like so far out of all of the apple case that I've cut, only two of them have had like one had one bead and then one had one pearl. That's like amazing, huh? For um, it to be in, intact that well. And then so when I get to these spots where these ruffles are, I just have to make a choice and, and kind of cut them. This, this is really stained here. Yucky. <laughs> they had a, lots of great weddings in this dress. That's all I can tell you. This dress could have been in an accident too. You know how accidents happen at weddings where things spill on the bride. <laughs> you know, like cake or whatever they had for food. It's been through war. I'm so grateful. I wanted a wedding dress so bad. I cut up the other one last week and I didn't film it. I just didn't even think of it. You know, I haven't thought about filming in bed up until now. So I just cut that on the side. And I'll just I'll just leave that like that. And so um I got to get myself cleaned up after cutting this dress. So the other one was all pearls, so there was so many pearls flying everywhere. Now my little pearl kit is kind of full, but the whole dress was pearls and appliques everywhere. And I'm going to try and find a picture of the dress because it was supposed to be my wedding dress. And... Um, I didn't have the wet. I didn't have that wedding dress when we got married, did I, Ronnie? I got it after as a gift for like if we ever wanted to do an anniversary and go on a cruise or something or renew our vows or whatever. Because one of my friends, she had a really um, different kind of traditional wedding where they changed into so many dresses in the night. And so it was one of her dresses, but she never wore it. So, ooh, I got appliques. So fun. I can't wait to, like, um, I mean, I want to do some uh, Happy Meal trades or something like that. like where we both have like I did a really good one with um, Grace B creations like she knew what she was getting she got the rocks and ruffles kit and then she sent me a whole bunch of her stuff and things that she had made too and it was so nice to receive like it seemed like it was a shopping haul right so, I want to do another one of those. I probably should get a hold of Karen and do another one with her. <laughs> I love her taste. I also have some packages I need to open, so I'm going to do that. Some great friends have sent me some stuff, so I'm excited about opening those. I'm really excited. My girlfriend Rhonda, her, I believe it's her granddaughter. I watched one of my videos and she sent me stuff 
and bought it with her own money. Like, oh, how sweet is that? So, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I'll start videoing that tomorrow. And that'll bless my friends too because that's why they sent it to me was to bless me. So, yay. All right, well, I wanted to show you. This is how it's going. You can see I'm just cutting, 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 <laughs> cutting, 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 cutting. cutting, cutting. I don't even know how many appliques that is now. I keep cutting the appliques off, babe. All right, guys. Huh, honey? It's totally different. This dress? Yeah. It just looks like a piece of fabric laying here, huh? I mean, like you're just dealing with some lace or something. <laughs> like I'm just dealing with lace? Is Doesn't it look like Ruffle City down there? Yeah. I should take a picture. It's amazing, huh? A sea of appliques and ruffles. I don't know what it is. It's, it just feels so fun to cut this dress up. Isn't that wild? Cut, 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 cut. We were trying to look up the price of this dress and um, by the serial number. And it said what, 1500 Ronnie? Yeah. So, if you got it on clearance, you know how they like sell dresses and stuff and then they'll be like $900. But, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to take a quick break. So I have some ruffles to take a picture of. Oh my gosh, it's gone. Look, I have to show you guys. I'll take care of this. Look, there's barely any left. Let me throw it down there. Wow. 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 Look at that. It's just like one little... Here, I'll get it all together. Okay, so look, this is what's left. Like, it's just that. That's all that's left. These are all the ruffles. They're going in the wash right now. Ronnie's going to take them. Here's the little thing. And then the skirt is already in the uh, wash. And then that's all the appliques. So, whoo. Okay, we found my other laundry bag. And this, it's done. It's done, you guys. All the appliques, I haven't counted them. We'll do those tomorrow morning. All the ruffles, we're going to go ahead and wash these tonight. And the underskirt. So I will have a good idea tomorrow. And I think with the ruffles, um, we'll put them into batches. Cool, cool. Yay. And I'm willing to share too, do a trade. So, all right, I'll see you in the morning. Look at my desk this morning. It's full of ruffles. I mean, it is like major, major ruffles. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I mean, it's it's ruffles for days, you guys. Look at this. 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 This is all off of that dress. So let me tell you, it made a huge difference to cut all the ruffles off. And I stuck them in the laundry bags. Remember, I have the laundry bags for your delicates, right? And you stick them in the laundry bag. And then, you know, these are a tiny bit damp because I don't want to ruin them in the dryer. Um, how they stitch these, you know, you got to be careful to look how they stitch things but they did like a definitely I don't know what you call this stitch but I'm just gonna say it's like it looks like a double stitch it's very strong look at that and um so anyways wash those thanks to my hubby he's so amazing 
and um, he washed all of those and put them in the delicate dry right babe on cool and then he rinsed he put wool light on the appliques last night in a mason um a mason a tub and we let that soak overnight i think that was a, don't you think that was an awesome idea they came out really clean huh yeah. so i'm going to show you the appliques in just a little bit right now they're drying in the bathtub that's another tip let them dry flat the bathtub is the best place for us because it just would be out of our way and so um yeah and then the skirt is done which i'll show you in a little bit i mean the skirt came out really clean huh yeah. and so that was washed again in wool light and cold and um then tumble dried and now it's hanging on my door so i'll show you that in a little bit but look how clean these ruffles are you know I know my aunt said, you know, I could have kept some of them stained, but gosh, the stains were really bad, weren't they? It was dusty. And it was like dusty, and it was just dusty. It made your hands feel funny, right? I mean, it definitely was worn. And we live in Las Vegas, so can you imagine that bride was having fun that night? <laughs> Probably getting her. Look at, see, there's one stain that just stayed. Probably getting her, um, her, uh, the dress like stuck getting out of limo right because they're all getting out of limos all the time so all right i'll be back in just a little bit because we have a friend project coming up today yay well actually this project will go and then you'll have another project tomorrow so oh, i got good stuff coming up so much fun all right see you soon okay i'm back I'm back with the results of the wedding dress. So, it went way better than I could have thought or imagined. Really, it went really, really, really good. Um, I ended up cutting it that night. It took less than two hours. It was crazy. I um, <clears throat> gave some sneak peeks and some other videos. But I cut off the top, which is... How it's bunched and sewn, it's trash. So I'm gonna toss it. Um, the little flower is over here on my on my um table, and it's authentically falling apart. So that's trash. There's just certain things just not to bother, <laughs> not to bother with. So what I did is I um cut off the top. Here is the skirt. Isn't it so shiny? Put it in the washer machine on delicate, delicate cold water. It's amazing. It turned out so good. So good, so good, so good. So I just decided to put that on my, on my lap for the moment, but it turned out amazing. I mean, it's, look how shiny it is on the camera. It's crazy how shiny it is, huh? So tons of fabric there. And then I, let me show you the ruffles. Oh my gosh. I thought I'd put this up as, so you can really see the ruffles. Here we go. So let's look at them. Here are one set. These are all of the short. These are the short ruffles. So what I mean by short is they're about, well, they're over a ruler long. them up here but I consider these my shorts so let's see let me grab the ruler do, 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 do. these are about twelve twenty four there's a little gathering right there twenty four twenty four and that makes 36, so about 36 inches long. Let's see, let's grab another one. Oh, this one's a shorty. See, there are some shorts where they're just 12, but see, there's a gathering right here. So some of them have that, and some of them are just, let's see if I can grab one, here we go. So most of them are this length here. Let me show you. So it's, 
12, 24. They're still long. 24 and 28. So 28 inches long. So it's nice. These ruffles came so clean. And again, I put them in laundry bags, cold water, and wool light. And look at that. I don't remember if you guys saw how stained it was. You know, getting out the limo in Las Vegas. Whoo! Let me tell you, these this is the wedding central of the the world. Um, this was okay, so these are this length, and then we have the longer lengths. These are long. Okay, let me just get one. Whoo! I may need a calculator for this math. Ready? So now these ruffles. Oh, first this really long one. This big one. This is a big ruffle. And I figured I could use, you know, portions of this, like on the side of a journal, cut it there. Maybe use this as a some kind of a closing. Um, it's a big ruffle. So there's that big gigantuous ruffle feels so good after being clean too okay now this one where's our ruler and we have this many let me show you how i mean there's so many look at that look how many ruffles and they're all this long ready i cut them i put them into two sections on a hanger okay so we have there we go. Okay, so 24. Oh, here goes my math. You guys are going to test me. I mean, 12. 24. Ooh, ooh. 24 and 24. 36. Oh, gosh. 36. 48. Oh, 48. I'm making it. 48. Uh, 48, 8, 9, 10, 60, <gasps> I did it, 72, mm, 72, that's 4, that's 84, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, I'm doing this math, 84, <clears throat> my math used to be my favorite subject, 84, 6, 96, Oh, look at that, 96. 96, 6, 7, 8, 100, 108. 108 inches. Oh, my goodness. That is long. Okay, so I, I'm, you know, give see if you, down in the comment section, if you guys have an idea of the best way to store these ruffles, let me know. Last night, I was playing with them. Was it last night or the night before? Last night. I don't remember. Anyways. And I was doing this. And I didn't know if I should do them in like so many, um, you know, I don't know, so many feet. Or I like, I don't know. I'm not sure how to, to store them or... You know, I could sell them or say I have a journal that I sell or I give away. I want to give away some of this. So what would be a cool thing to do, you know, to store them or to package them or, you know, because, of course, I could do a, a sewing thimble kind of thing, you know, like the big ones. Um, I've done the card. But what what do you think would be a cute way of storing these selling them or, or whatever i just think that they're so cool there's so many of them okay so there's that now let's get to the the grand poopa of things out of this dress and that is the appliques so when i counted them we had 36 36 can you believe that and for the most part, put our ruler down here. They're over 12 inches long. Yeah. Six. That's 12. 
12 and 3. So they're 15 inches. This one's 15 inches. But look at all of them. They're all, my husband put them all in this. Isn't that amazing? Applique heaven. There are 37 of them. And they're all different sizes. Like this is 12. No. Well, yeah, it's 12 inches. So that one's 12 inches. This one is 12 inches. This one is, oh, see, now this one's a shorty. This one is 6 inches. So this is 12 inches. This is 6 inches. So I'm going to have to measure them and put them in different bags. Here's one of the long ones. And then I noticed there were like some super long ones. So this one's 12 inches. That one's 15 inches. This one, see, is 10 inches. That's 10 inches. That's 10 inches. is a long one and it's a little bit shy of being a long one and I think there are super long ones I'm gonna have to check let's see that we'll go through them all 37 of them if you want to hang in here with me this is over 12 inches I'll just put all the over 12 inches up there if you're interested in trading or something let me know this is 12 inches. Was that the 12 inch? This one, was this 12 inches? Because I'm sorry, I messed up. Yeah, these are like 12 inches, right? Pretty much, yeah, these are 12 inches. These are the 6 inches, and then we got the 10 inches. So that's a shorty. It's a shorty how long that is 12 inches so like wool light it's a shorty and we got the 10 inches remember guys Oop. it's a 12 inch and this is a over 12 inch and this one is a, let me see. No, this is a 12 inch. Sorry guys for bumping you. Look at this one. This is a double. See, it has a shorty and then a long one. So we'll just put it up here. And that's a tenner. 10 inches. And I think this is a shorty. Now over 12, the shorty, it's a 10, oops, sorry guys, I keep bumping you, my bad, <clears throat> over 12, I did take out one last night and used it on a journal, oh my gosh, you guys have got to see what these look like on a journal my husband was blown away he was like oh my gosh that is so gorgeous i'm like right i thought i had really nice appliques before these are just drop dead gorgeous on though oh this is a super shorty i think this last one is more like a 10 let me double check that one it is it's a 10 because you can tell a difference between the shorties and the and the tens. And that's like an eleven. It's a twelve. We only got a couple more and we're done. That's over twelve. And this one's over 12 and last one of course do you see how big this one is this had to be like in the front of the dress because this one is 
way over. Okay, that's all of them. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of those. These are just straight 12 inches. So those are really good. These are 10. So I'm going to go 12 and I'll put the 10s on top and then the shorties. So aren't those pretty, you guys? From the shortest. Look at that. From the shortest. Pretty. So pretty. And I'm telling you, they're in really good shape. I was definitely careful about cutting around them. But they're in good shape. And what I did on the one that I used, just because I put like a little bit of glue underneath just to kind of boom, 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 reinforce underneath there just to reinforce. And you could turn it around and you could, you know, tie some things too if you wanted to. I may have to tie some of them and I may not. So isn't that cool? And then from the longest... There's the longest. Isn't that pretty? So, so, so pretty. All right, you guys. So, yay. That's the wedding dress. That's the wedding dress. All cut, all cut up. Now I'm going to put them in my handy dandy Ziploc bags. My giant ones, the giant, giant Ziploc bags. And I just re keep reusing them. And um, that's what I'm going to do now. Since I'm hanging out, that's what I'm going to do is just start putting everything away. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video. And I'm not sure what I have up for you next but um i will say please check out the prayer um prayer index you got to check that out the prayer list index book um man i'll tell you it's gonna be a lifesaver like literally and um another cool thing to um check out i have a couple videos coming up of some cool things that I did, you know, that other creators have done. And then I do my little play on it. And so those are coming out. And so, yeah, just stay tuned. I'm going to try and post something really just like, I don't know, every day for the next 30 days or something like that. Um, I'm just going to hit a thousand. <laughs> That's where I'm at. I want to hit a thousand and be able to go live and chit chat and yeah just you know really be with you guys and yeah so anyways that's what's going on so thanks for joining me if you're new to this channel welcome hello hello and i really appreciate you stopping by and stopping in go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed subscribe i checked out my um little analytics and it said that only 50 percent of the viewers or even subscribe. So there's a whole bunch of you hiding out, not subscribed. And, um, you know, I support everybody's channel. If I haven't subscribed to your channel, let me know. I'll subscribe to you because it doesn't cost me anything. And it doesn't cost you anything. So if you haven't hit that notification bell yet, go ahead and do that. I found out that two of my girlfriends that um, really follow me and everything out of nowhere their notification bell was just not hit and they were missing all of my videos for a whole week so go ahead and hit that not notification bell and do that for your other junk journaling girlfriends too so that you know when they post videos that's what i do i know when you guys post videos and then i go watch so i'll do my best to comment sometimes the videos do roll through so i understand that so i'm going to try to this next week go back all the videos that I did watch, you know, hit like, leave them some hearts at least. Yeah, you can do that. Leave me a whole bunch of hearts. I'm fine with that. 
Um, and I finally, you guys will not believe this, for three months I didn't answer any comments because I didn't feel well. And I answered all the comments from three months like three months of comments. It was so many comments, but guess what? I did it. I answered every single one and I gave a heart to every single one. So if I can do that, you can hit the like button and leave me a comment of hearts, 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 stars, 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 praying hand, praying hand, praying hands. And I will greatly appreciate that. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.